Hope you're staying dry out there and can sit comfortably at home and watch these headlines that you need to know for your daily WBON TV afternoon news brief. A Waco man charged with a murder that occurred last November at a Richmond gas station has been indicted by a grand jury. 22-year-old Brandon Carl Short was detained after police respond to the scene of the altercation where shots have been fired at US-25 in Duncannon. According to police, Short took out a handgun and shot 26-year-old Matthew Francis of Pulaski County. Short was charged with murder, and now the grand jury believes there will be enough evidence to move the trial forward. A Richmond woman was recently arrested and charged with fourth-degree assault and child abuse after officers respond to a complaint at a Foxhaven Drive residence. Police report that 20-year-old Cindy DeVicla was talking through an interpreter to social services when they arrived at the scene. She allegedly admitted to using a belt against a two-year-old when the child would not go to sleep. She added to police that it was accidental and she did not try to hit the child in the head or face. However, a welt was visible on the child's forehead. She was arrested and taken to the detention center. After this week's seizure of apparent Xanax lace gummy worms here in Kentucky, it's important for both police and citizens to be on alert for new types of drugs previously not seen or seized. WBON TV visited Lieutenant Rodney Tudor of the Richmond Police Department, who says in all of his years working the drug task force, they have yet to see candies like this. Tudor gives information on not just these deceivingly innocent looking gummies, as well as details on what to look for with THC vape pens and synthetic drugs that can make their way into local schools. Pay attention to these warning signs, as Tudor explains in the video up now on WBON, and to always err on the side of caution when it comes to any unknown substance. And the National Weather Service has issued a flood warning for all of our listening area. Between one and a half and four inches of rainfall is expected through Thursday night. The excessive rainfall could lead to flooding, especially in low-lying areas, and may cause streams, creeks, and rivers to run high late into the week and the weekend. For more stories such as these, be sure to visit Richmond's very own WBONTV.com. I'm Marissa Hempel.